Good morning, I'm Tyne Morgan coming to you from our studios here in Kansas City, filling in for Clinton Griffiths, who's on vacation. Well, time has now run out for some farmers who had hoped to plant corn this season. The final corn cutoff date for North Dakota, parts of northern Minnesota and South Dakota passed last Thursday. Those states still dealing with high moisture from snow melt. Ag Day's Michelle Rook is here. Michelle, it looks like a lot of prevent plant for those states. That's right. Prevent plant acres were pretty much inevitable up here in northern Corn Belt states like North Dakota. Farmers had already given up on planting spring weed, and now that we're past those final planting dates for corn, you can add those acres to the total as well. And farmers are only days away from having to make that same decision on soybeans. With the drier week last week, some farmers in the northern Corn Belt just got started on corn planting prior to the final planting date. And now there's not a lot of incentive to continue. Uh, the market just isn't suggesting us to do that, where last year the economics, you know, the market kept rallying and rallying and you felt good to go plant some late soybeans in there. So I think for North Dakota and maybe Northeast South Dakota, you know, corn acres will be down a little bit, uh, some prevent plant and uh, we'll have to see come the 30th. And the weather is a big determinant too. If we get some more rains before the 10th of June, then it's just less acres of both corn and soybeans. USDA puts corn planting at 75% done in South Dakota, 80% in Minnesota, but just a little more than a third done in North Dakota. So there will be prevent plant. The question is how much? Uh, when you look at soil moisture profile in North Dakota, you see a fairly uh, large area, probably between um, uh, Jamestown and Bismarck and, and Point South that have had an awful lot of rainfall. And I know that's the area where progress is furthest behind. Um, given the fact that corn prices have fallen as far as they have, uh, prevent plants certainly does seem like an economical option for some of those farmers. If I was to put an estimate on uh, PP acres right now, I'd have to say it's going to probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of 500,000 to a million. However, the total prevent plant acres in North Dakota and surrounding states will still be less than 2022. I'm a Shawrook reporting for Ag Day.